Strange, but we appear to have a gravity imbalance on the base. If we can't restore the balance, we can't get to them. These Bolton creatures, they're incredibly advanced, aren't they? I'll grab Ellie. <laughs> then follow my instructions. We need to reroute her circuits. We have an abnormal condition. Now grab her hands. Oh, whoa! Careful, not so tight. Be gentle with her. Good stuff. Now look in her eyes. Look as deeply as you can into them. Don't hesitate. Do as I say. Ellie's the only one who can help us with that monster. We need her. Sean. Get out of Ellie's line of sight. You're distracting her. Distracting her? What? Come on. Look at her tenderly. Right. Tender and sweet. That's the way, my boy. Almost there. Koba. Kenjiro. That's right. That's me. Good job, Belly. Maybe try touching her hair a little. Really? Are you sure? Think of it as stroking a monkey. Guys, she's not an animal. <sighs> Caress would be the word you want. It demonstrates to her that we trust her. Yes, I see. Even though she's an android, she still has human emotions. Your plan might work. I'm actually from the planet Bolton. That thing there is called Dark Bolton. She came all the way to Earth to warn us about him. Her name's Tiny. We don't have time for games, guys. See? That's my real form. This is a cloak. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Oh. Hey, Totomu. I need to go back to my Ark and get some equipment and get ready. I'm going to revive Ultraman Max, so I need to move fast. You should take the broom. Flying's the quickest way to get there. Oh, come on, you two. This isn't a cartoon. People don't fly around on brooms. I can't do that, remember? Because if he sees me flying around, Dark Bolton will know I'm on Earth. I guess it's not too far. Maybe we could take Dash Alpha. Can we miss Mizuki? Are you kidding? We need to get to Tiny's Ark as fast as we possibly can. We need to save Ultraman Max and save the world. We can talk about it later. All right, you talked me into it. I think you're crazy, but it's a lot better than sitting around. Let's go. This is what life is about. Sometimes you gotta take a risk and hope it works out. Hold on, guys. Here it goes! This dark Bolton has turned the tables on us. He's saying we're the real invaders. He's got a point. 
Look at what we've done to this planet. If we get our hands on any others, then they too will be destroyed by our stupidity. That's not true. Look at the moon. When we run out of landfill here on Earth, we'll dump it on the moon. They're already making plans. Just because we haven't found life on the moon doesn't mean it's not there. Who knows what we haven't found yet? Listen, don't get me started on Mars. That's even worse. They're making plans to colonize it. But there's life there, too. No wonder this guy is angry. If I were him, I'd want to stop us, too. But now we've got a big problem. If other life forms hate us like he does, and they decide to club together and launch an attack, then, well... There's no way the Earth could possibly survive. It's really bumpy, huh? That's because we're flying so fast! Ah! Here's my story. My planet Bolton has been ruined by endless nuclear war. Dark Bolton has been looking for a new planet to inhabit. And I think he's decided to live on Earth. He's accusing you Earthlings of being invaders, but all he wants is to... So Dark Bolton is the real invader. It's not about us. He's the real bad guy here. All right, next step. Now it's time to move some files around. I think you've gotten into the system now. You're okay. She hasn't rejected your password. Ellie, I need your help. Listen. There's a file in your system. It's called Kenjiro Koba. Can you find it? Koba. Kenjiro. Hmm? Now what? Get her to move that file into the reassuring folder. Don't take your eyes off her. Move that file to the reassuring folder. There is a folder called Like I Have Moved It There. Good, I think we got her back. Stay focused on her. You need to tell her what to do. She should obey your commands now. We should be able to gain control of the situation. Affirmative. I like you now. Yes, I want to help you. I am awaiting your orders. You like me? Great. Love is beautiful. Don't take your eyes off her! You've got direct access to her heart right now. That's your spaceship? How do you fit into it? So what now? What are you going to do now you're here? I hope you're not going to just jump into it and run away and leave us here. You said you were going to help us, remember? Of course not. I'm going to use it to defeat Dark Bolton. Okay, great. But tell me, how long will it take you to do that, huh? I don't know exactly, but maybe about a week? A week? Oh, oh, sorry, that's Bolton time. That's about two minutes on Earth. Two minutes? Oh, I'm getting really confused. Cool, can I come with you? No, it's too dangerous. Time moves much faster and you'll come back seven years older. So, you'll be seven years older too? Yes, I will, but it doesn't matter. I'll be fine. They can just de-age me with Bolton cloning techniques. What? Oh man, this is getting way too complicated. Really? Let me put it like this then. In order to help me defeat Dark Bolton, you'd need to delinearize the gravity polarity between yourself and the Ark, and then switch existences. I think it's a little over your head. Do I have to explain this? I don't have time. I have to get to work now. Shazam! Great job. Sean, grab that mouse in front of you. Click the left button. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> oh! Sean, you 
double clicked it, didn't you? Oops. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> All right. Looks like a full-scale attack's underway. We're gonna have to move really fast. You look for Kaido. You search for Dash Alpha. Ellie, keep us posted. Sean! Yes, sir. I changed my mind. You stay here. What? We need Ellie. You can do the vacuuming or something. All right? <laughs> how are you feeling? While you were trapped, I analyzed the mechanics of how you transformed into Ultraman Max. It wasn't very hard for me. And if you don't have enough power, then you can't transform, isn't that right? <laughs> Rats! Captain, that kid, I think I'm starting to trust him a little. And the girl? Tiny, I think she's gonna save us all. Her name's Tiny? The alien scanner is responding. We've got a gravity fluctuation. Give us the coordinates. We'll head right for it. Okay then, Mr. Dark Bolton. Here comes your welcoming committee. Coma Bird 2. Roger. Ellie, you go with him. You can be his navigator. And Mizuki? Yes, sir. I think it's time for you to get serious. You take bird one. Roger. We Boltons are good at manipulating gravity. Now transform! Hurry up! Transform into Ultraman Max! Oh, you're that girl! I can help! Transform! Ultraman! Ultraman! 
looks like it's case closed. Don't unmoton. Even a child could solve this problem. It's so basic. It's easier than breathing. This could get ugly. Pull back and wait for my orders. Some kind of Bolton secret weapon or what? spells. They're just like the ones farmers use to drive pests out of their fields. traveled in Tibet once. I heard that sound coming from a small temple in the mountains. It was such a beautiful sound, I stopped and asked the villagers about it. They said it brought them peace. It sounds like the bell in the old church in my hometown. It's exactly the same. They sound like the bells of peace I once heard in a park in Kyoto. They're beautiful. It's interesting. I'm not sure if we've been blinded by science or whether the memory has been sealed away by the passage of time, but we Balkans have forgotten what those bells are for. I know one thing, though. These relics have a mysterious power, one that even science can't explain. That's why Dark Bolton and his allies are afraid of them and want to take them away from us. Ultraman Max has brought us peace, yet again. 
And not just peace on Earth, but peace to other planets, too. This is true justice, don't you think? You saved us. Thank you, Ultraman. <laughs> I had a feeling this might happen, so I came prepared. Take a look at this, baby. I call it the Regressive Transmorphifier. It can restore anything to its original state. Anything! You name it! Yes, it truly has super powerful mojo! times, long before Baltans learned to fight and kill each other. When the air on my planet was clean and the water was fresh, this is how my ancestors lived. <laughs> As far as I can tell, Ultraman Max, he saw through to the heart of Dark Balton. And that's why he couldn't finish him off. Because underneath it all, he wasn't evil. That's why it's important to talk to your enemies. Only then can true peace prevail. Only then will the world be safe. They have to go now. Of course, when I tell my dad about what happened, He'll probably call me a liar again, right? Save the world. <sighs> Goodbye. And thank you, Tiny. A sleepy creature named Hop Hop from the M32 galaxy makes an appearance. Will it eat us when it wakes up? What on earth does it want? Next on Ultraman Max, Adam and Eve on M32. 